Now for the next set of exercises, I'll go to File, choose Open, and then in the Working folder, we'll open up a file called Posters01. And then I'm going to go to the Outboard menu at the bottom and then change this to Number 4, Explore. And this contains um, artwork, which is just a dark rectangle in the background with some line art drawn with something called the pencil tool. If I pick up my zoom tool and then zoom in closer to this region just here where we've got the gate, and you'll notice that if I switch to my selection tool, I'll select the path, which is there to give the sense that there's some grass going up to the edge of a dry stone wall. Now it stops short at the moment, it needs extending over towards the right hand side and we'll do that with the pencil tool. Because I've selected the artwork, it will pick up the properties of that line. So if I just zoom in a little bit closer so we can see this in a little bit more detail, I'll go to my tools panel buried underneath uh, what's called the shaper tool. We have something called the pencil tool. Now with that active, what I can do is I can continue that line. What I would suggest though, first of all, is that you hover your cursor over the pencil tool icon and double left click. That brings up the pencil tool options. And in here, the thing that will have the biggest impact is the fidelity. You have a range from accurate to smooth. Meaning that when you draw with a pencil tool, it will try and match your hand gestures so that if it's set to accurate, it will be very close. Therefore, it'll add more anchor points and it will be more detailed. If you just want to approximate the look of your hand gestures and where you drag the mouse and move around, then you're going to get a simpler path if you choose smooth. So let me just show you the difference between these. Set to the center. If I click OK, if I hover my cursor on the end of that open line in there, then I have the reconnect symbol. I can click and hold down the mouse and keep it held down. That's the thing with this pencil tool. You can only draw with this pencil tool if you keep the left mouse button down, held down and you drag a line like so. Let go of the mouse and it will apply a little bit of smoothing to your hand gestures. Notice how many anchor points we have here compared to the beginning of the path. Now, if I go back and double click and change this to accurate and click OK, it doesn't change the original anchor points that are in here. But now if I hover over, click and hold down the mouse and drag and add some details in here like so, notice that there are a lot more anchor points and it matches my hand gestures much more closely. So it really does depend on what kind of end result you wish to go for. If I hold down the space bar, I can pan along and just see the other section of the document. Let go of the mouse, let go of the space bar. I'm actually going to go back and double left click and change it to the middle in there, in between smooth and accurate. And then you'll notice in here that I also have an option turned on called keep selected, which will allow me to keep the object that I'm extending and modifying active. So I can just keep editing it if I wish to. And then there's also an option underneath called edit selected paths. So I'll show you that one after. I'll click OK, hover my cursor over here and click and hold down the mouse and drag and I can continue that line again. Notice fewer anchor points, but a slightly smoother end result. I'll go to select and choose deselect. And if I hold down the space bar now and just pan back again inside of there, you can see those varying sections of accurate to smooth. That's how you can draw with the pencil tool. In the next video, I'll show you how we can draw straight lines with a pencil tool and edit those lines afterwards.